What's good YouTube? This is Kevin Cruz back with another NBA 2K22 tutorial and in this video we're going to discuss how to use the right stick to win those contact battles in NBA 2K22 to put you at an advantage to beat your defender in one-on-one -on -one situations if they're playing you physically or you know they want to initiate that ride animation. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already, I'd appreciate a sub. It will help me as a small content creator. Thumbs up if you learned something new today and let me know what you think of the video in the comment section below. So as I stated earlier, this is the continuation of our contact series where we learned how to do the contact blow by by holding turbo at the right time, using L2 to counter contact, and the different types of shots we can do to counter contact in NBA 2K22. We're going to take that one step further by using the right stick to win these different contact encounters by showing you the different moves available to you so you can use them in different situations. So the first way to use the right stick is to do a step back by tapping the right stick down as you initiate that contact and this will initiate a step back and a push off animation. So what this does is that little bit of forearm push, if done correctly or if in the right situation, it will give you that extra bit of space. So here it's marginal bit of space, but in this situation here it's a lot of space so you just want to tap down, it acts as a step back and it's very effective. The next move is a shoulder bump, which I've taught before in the L2 video, but you can also do this by holding R2 and tapping up on the right stick. It's the same move as the step back and push off animation, just a different type of uh, animation. The next counters are your standard crossover counters, and that's by tapping the right stick in the opposite direction of your ball hand. Whether to the left, up into the left, or down into the left to your non-ball hand, this will initiate different types of crossover counters which will give you that extra bit of separation and help you disengage from contact. Then you can launch out of this and try to beat your defender off the bounce. The next move is the blow by to a quick stop which is done by tapping the right stick towards your ball hand after you initiate a blow by animation. So as I'm walking Jamarant down, initiate contact, I hold turbo to initiate that blow by animation and then I quickly tap the right stick to the right as the blow by, initi as the blow by animation is initiated and that will lead to a quick uh, stop in momentum which almost acts as a step back because you stop your momentum as your defender is going forward. It will give you that added bit of space as you reset into a jump shot position. So the next move is an advanced move and it will need for you to learn how to put the left stick in neutral and that's by doing escape dribble counters out of contact situations. So what you want to do here is initiate a contact situation. Once you initiate that ride animation, you want to let go of your left stick, take your thumb off the left stick to initiate a neutral stance and then hold R2 or turbo and then tap the right stick in any direction to initiate any of your escape dribble combos. And then as you can see here, I launch directly into a layup after I cross over and and leave my opponent behind. So this move is especially powerful for guys like Steph Curry who's got an incredible escape dribble package that creates a lot of space especially since Steph Curry just needs that little bit of daylight to create a good quality shot. This move is basically very powerful for guys like him. The next move is a hezi disengage which is done by tapping the right stick towards your ball hand to create a hesitation dribble which will separate you from your defender when you're initiated when you're caught in a ride animation or that physical contact animation. So as you can see here, I use that extra bit of space to disengage from contact to launch into a jump shot. I can also launch directly into a crossover to attack the basket. So basically what this does is it cancels, cancels that contact and you can launch into a jump shot or launch into a crossover to get to the cup. So always remember you can do these moves in downhill situations as you can see here. I use the right stick to open up Steph Curry's stance, shift his direction from one direction to another, catch him in a vulnerable position. As you can see here, I do that to Jamorant. I catch him backpedaling, trying to recover, and attack him basically when he's not in a good defensive position. So tapping the right stick in different directions as you shift the defender's body one way or another will lead to angles which you can attack and basically use that to put your defender in a vulnerable position and get a good quality shot. So as you can see in this clip right here, a simple crossover after that blow by leads to an insane amount of space. Look, it basically shifts. Well, there's a little bit of sliding there, but it shifted Gray's uh, footwork in such a way that he was caught in a vulnerable position. And we continue to show that in these different clips right here. I catch Jamarant backpedaling, not in a good defensive stance, and there we can attack him for an easy layup. No. 
And in our last set of moves, you can combine your different L2 techniques which I taught in the previous video and combine that with the right stick to create more angles and basically create different types of setups depending on how your defender is playing you. As you can see here after that blow by, I tap L2 to create that hold off your defender animation and then I tap the right stick down and to the left to do a crossover, basically shift Steph's position around, catch him in a vulnerable position so that he bites on a pump fake and then I just finish with an up and under. In this clip right here, I just tap down on the right stick to initiate a step back after that hold off your defender position, launch into a crossover and finish at the basket. So that's it, I think this ends our contact series for now. I have one more set of tutorial on contact that I might do in the future, but I'm trying to figure out those little extra details that will make sure I add a lot of value. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.